So at the very tip of this tube, you will see a white pellet, and these are actually human cells. Uh, these are derived from tumors, human tumors. Um, they can indefinitely grow in a culture environment. Um, so we rely on these cells as a model system to do our experiments many of the times. We use uh, different kinds of model systems in the lab, mouse being one of them. Of course, information from uh, mitochondrial disease patients, you know, where mutations are, then we want to recapitulate this in the, in the animal, but we also use cell lines. I'm doing a exome-sequensointi project, missä tutkitaan lapsia, joilla on varhain alkava ataksia, tämmöinen haparointitauti. Ja semmoisilla lapsilla, joilla ei ole diagnoosi, ei ole löytynyt syytä tälle niiden atakselle, niin niistä katsotaan tämmöinen exome-sequensointi, eli katsotaan kaikki koodaavat alueet DNAsta, proteiinikoodaavat alueet DNAsta. Uh, here I'm performing uh, sanga sequencing reactions, uh, which uh, are uh, determining a small stretch uh, of uh, 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 DNA sequence. Four nucleotides are the building blocks of DNA, and this method is employing uh, modified uh, nucleotides, which are marked with chromophores. Uh, and as a result, uh, we can uh, read the sequence, as I have here in my lab book, uh, like colored pics. In some patient samples, uh, which have been uh, kept at minus 80 degrees on dry ice to extract some RNA samples and check gene expression levels and uh, check protein levels as well. Chris is uh, full of uh, samples yeah. and... Yes, they yes, have uh, yeah. patient samples and uh, mouse samples which has mitochondrial diseases so all the characterized patients who have been collected I think over 20 years in Anna's lab. I'm preparing uh, things for the qPCR right now. And what is um, that? Well, qPCR is a method that allows us to measure the levels of uh, gene expressions. It's it's one of the major methods of our lab, and we currently we often use it for our experiments. I'm studying how well cells are coping in different disorders with this. Um, uh, oxidative stress and the measure for it it's uh, so-called pyridine nucleotides they exist in two forms reduced and oxidized the more reduced form in concentration you have the more efficient cells are in uh, defending or coping with the disorder and now I'm isolating them from um, the mouse model that have cardiomyopathy mitochondrial uh, cardiopathy to see um, uh, what is the ratio and overall pool of pyridine nucleotides?